New type of permanent contact lens that is open to younger people and people who don't qualify for LASIK. The FDA recently approved the Evo lens. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us how it changed a Plymouth woman's life at a time she needed it most. Justin was the nicest person probably in the entire world I've ever met. Um, no malice in him. Liz lost her beloved husband last May after a grueling fight with brain cancer. I was my husband's primary caretaker throughout the two years, you know, in-home hospice. I was there every day for every surgery. So as part of her grief journey, mm -hmm. the newly single mom is learning to take care of herself. It became the time I can like, what can I do for myself right now? What's going to improve my health, which then improves my family's health? And I'm their last parent, and I need to be at the best capacity that I can be at for them. She started with her vision. Without glasses, I would not, I could see like shapes, colors, but like really no distinguishing features until we're like this close. Her vision was so bad she didn't qualify for LASIK, but she does qualify for the newly FDA approved Evo permanent contacts inserted under the iris. Patients like Liz are legally blind without their glasses, and so she couldn't see more than four inches from her face. And after surgery, she could see me read my name tag from across the room and uh, it was amazing to see those tears of joy. This was her reaction right after the 20 minute procedure. The exciting thing about the Evo implantable contact lens is that it really opens up the range of patients who qualify for vision correction surgery. The ability to see clearly right after surgery is life changing. And even though her life will never be the same, she is finally seeing things more clearly. You think he'd be proud of you? Oh, yeah. He'd be excited. <laughs> Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. The procedure is not covered by insurance. It costs about $4,500 per eye. Evo is surgically reversible, unlike LASIK.